Friends of the Rye Nature Center has advocated for preserving natural wildlife habitats for over 40 years. In addition to preserving native plants and acres of forest throughout our city and county, we also focus on educating the public about how to maintain a quality habitat for aquatic life in the Long Island Sound. The coastline of Long Island Sound is over 600 miles long, yet due to overpopulation of its adjacent watersheds, the contaminants of nearly 21 million people drains through this very small area. Understanding the long-term impact of a level of pollution on one of the East Coast's most precious waterways, as well as taking costly measures to protect it, has been one of the Environmental Protection Agency's priorities since 1998. Since then, the EPA has funded organizations like the Long Island Sound Study to spearhead habitat restoration initiatives, as well as watershed alliances to preserve and protect the land. Currently in Rye, two major county parks exist along the coast, the Edith Reed Sanctuary and the Marshlands Conservancy. Both of these parks have made massive strides in restoration projects that will lead to the return of important native coastal plants that will not only provide habitat for endangered coastal birds, but will also help reduce nitrogen levels in the water. Nestled right between these two preserves is the coastline of another major county park, Playland. In reinventing Playland, Westchester County has a unique opportunity to make a monumental difference in the environmental health of its community, as well as the Long Island Sound. The Friends of Rye Nature Center support forward-thinking organizations who are approaching the RFP process with an eye towards continuing and expanding the habitat restoration policies which are in line with our mission. It is FNRC's hope that the county will choose to act responsibly and return a significant amount of playlands grounds to its natural state by increasing the amount of natural plants and trees along Rye's shoreline will better protect it against erosion and the devastating effects of flooding and the detriments of pollutants. This reinvented playland would be accessible to the public and become a model park for educating the public on shoreline conservation and managing an efficient and clean watershed. While corporate and private developers may be able to offer the county very cost-effective approaches for dealing with the challenges of playland's fate, we must not turn our backs on the responsibility we have to protect our natural resources. The county needs to adopt a plan for Playland's future, which does not undermine the huge investment that we have already made in preserving the health and well-being of Long Island Sound.